Hello, 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 everyone. Hi, I'm Jess. Uh, as you can see from the title, tonight's uh, topic is uh, sure to be uh, a message that I hope sinks in for any and everyone uh, who uh, listens uh, to the message. Uh, first off, I'm Jess. <laughs> Many of you know me, so uh, I don't oftentimes when I do these videos do a full introduction, but I am Jess and I want to um, start by talking about this topic because it, it, it's near and dear to my heart. But before I get into uh, the importance of this message today, I first would like to say um, if you are interested in joining our exciting trip uh, to Rio de Janeiro for Carnival, uh, don't forget to send us an email or send us uh, a DM uh, inquiring about details for uh, February's trip to Rio de Janeiro for Carnival. That's the first trip we have coming up. Hello, Mex in F FX. <laughs> How are you? Um, the second... Um, trip notification is we do have a trip coming up to Spain, uh, the beautiful country of Spain, uh, and that's really, really affordably priced. It's like $987 a person. Um, that is for this time next year, and the deadline for that trip is about to close. So if you'd like more information about either one of these trips, uh, email us at blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com, or you can send us a DM. Uh, and find out uh, more. Hey, Mecca. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, Mexican effects. I couldn't see your picture. It's been a long time, so I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I uh, I miss you, girl. I miss you. Um, shout out to Mecca. Uh, we've we've uh, traveled together uh, to Canada and had some some great fun uh, in in the snow uh, at ski weekend. So uh, it's good. You're on uh, Uptown Coffee Brown. Hello. Hello. So, ladies, I'm going to uh, quickly uh, get. Yes, it's been a long time since we uh, spent some time together, Mecca. So uh, shout out to you. And uh, I see uh, from social media that you're doing your thing, girl. You're looking good and having fun. Miss Traveling Hips. Uh, hello. Yes, 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 <laughs> Mecca, at some point, definitely, you know how to tap in. Um, but this topic is actually really important to me. Uh, the real topic uh, should be, um, I couldn't write the real topic on because of the limitation in characters, but it really should be stop committing uh, to people in countries that you have never visited. Um, but for short, it's stop committing to people in third world countries. And this is a topic uh, that's of particular uh, interest to me because I actually have a friend who uh, is uh, getting married uh, uh, to, to a man who she has uh, never uh, met face to face. Uh, she's been in communication uh, with him for the past couple of years online and over the phone and also um, has never visited the country. And so uh, she knows how I feel about this topic. I've been very, very uh, transparent. And as someone who has traveled uh, domestically and internationally the vast majority of my life, literally, I did the math, and 66% of my life has been dedicated to travel. I've been able to uh, go to different parts of the world. The Lord has really blessed me to meet so many different people, experience so many different cultures. Uh, and this is not just uh, applicable to women. It's also applicable to men. It plays out slightly differently with the men, um, but it's still the same uh, sort of situation where people are entering into these full-fledged uh, marriages with commitments um, to people and they've never visited the country. They don't know the customs. They don't know the tradition. They don't know, uh, they don't know anything about the people. They know nothing about, um, expectations of women, um, expectations of husbands. They, they don't know. And this is particularly concerning because 
I uh, have heard even recently uh, in circles of people that I know uh, where a gentleman was actually encouraged to marry uh, a woman and he's actually contemplating it uh, to help her get get here uh, and get her papers. Um, this woman is uh, from the Philippines. Um, and so I'm starting to hear more about this and uh, I'm experiencing it uh, directly uh, with a close friend of mine. And here's my message. I just feel that you don't know, <laughs> you know, I don't know how else to, to say it. So certain things that you may feel complimented by may be cultural. So for example, um, my friend who has never been married, who's never been outside of the United States, who is going, uh, to this particular country, um, for the first time and looking to get married, you know, this is a man who has been very strongly pursuing her. Not only has he been strongly pursuing her, but he asked her to marry him. And because she's not uh, been out of the country, because she's never been to this country, she doesn't know that these men ask everybody <laughs> to marry them. Um, and to me, on the outside looking in, it's very clear uh, that he wants to uh, get married um, for the purposes of, of, of getting here and coming to the United States. And this is why I always encourage people to travel. Travel as much as you can, as much as your budget can, can take you and as far as your budget can take you. Um, I, I'm all about uh, travel because travel is really... Uh, one of the first levels of investment that you can invest when it comes to yourself. It expands your thinking. It introduces you to different people. It exposes you to different cultures, different customs. Um, it allows you to broaden your horizon. It allows you to learn how the aspects of how the world works. Um, it just allows for so much. There's so many lessons you can learn and gain from just traveling uh, to different parts of the uh, of the world. And I say that because she's complimented uh, by something that is fairly custom customary or happens very often in this particular country. Um, but it's like when you invest in yourself, you begin to understand that especially as an American citizen uh, that's traveling abroad there's a certain amount of, of value that other people place on you uh, let alone how much value you should place on uh, yourself you know what I mean like other people can kind of see you how they see you but you really need to um, let whatever travel experiences you have help you to better understand yourself. That's the other great thing about travel. Hello, um, Wayne Welsh, GA Wayne Welsh. This is also applicable to men as well. Um, but I say that because as much as I tell men and women don't just, um, commit and, and, and agree to marry people. Hello, the coriator. It's been a while. Um, as much as I tell people don't enter into these long-term commitments and commit to marry these folks who are not from America and you don't really know uh, their background, you don't know hard, really anything about them, you've never been to their country, I know that there are still people who are going to do it. And that's why I say you have to value yourself. Let your travel experiences fuel you to um, placing a greater value on you because if you decide to take that route, just know that there is a monetary value associated with marrying someone from another country for the sake of them coming to America and getting their legal papers. There is a value that's placed on that act alone. And I can tell you nowadays, when we talk about value for an, an exchange like that, you're looking at people who will pay anywhere from 20000 
to fifty thousand dollars to have someone agree to marry them so that they can get into the country um it's all done very under the table i don't advocate for that um but i am saying that for people who do go that route just know that when you're taking on this ideology of oh this is my person uh, i'm in love that value goes from 20 to 30,000 down to zero because now you just willing to marry them because you're lonely you come across as being desperate and you're doing it with the understanding that either one you're in love or two you're trying to help someone okay and I just have to be very clear I don't recommend it at all um, but I do feel like it's important for people to understand that this is something that you should really think of uh, very seriously before you take that step. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing a lot more black women, uh, black American women are looking abroad um, to find quote unquote love and to marry some of these men. Uh, they're doing it with the understanding that, oh, this is my husband. And for some, some, you know, women, hey, that's just how the, the ball bounced. You know, some, I, I know women who have legitimately found love. I know couples, you know, Amer black American woman, um, African man, you know, or black American woman, Caribbean man. Like I know women who, um, have entered into those types of situation and it's very legit. It's very legit. Oftentimes in those situations, mo more often than not, these women have at the very least visited the country. I feel like when you don't go to some of these areas and experience what life is really like for uh, some of these men and some of these women, then you don't understand the levels that which people would go to in order to get out of the situation that they're in. And I think this is a, a message that we need to talk about more often. Hello, uh, um, Ahmad Araji. Um, it, this is something that we need to talk about more because you can feel complimented when it's not necessarily a compliment, <laughs> you know, because you're here in America and you're making an assessment um, based off of how things are in America. You know, in America, men aren't proposing to women like that, you know, um, in America, you don't really uh, see a man talking to you over the phone for months, if not years, you've never met. And all of a sudden he pops up and says, hey, I want to marry you. You know what I mean? Like at some point that is going to raise a red flag for you. But for whatever reason, when it happens with someone who is not in America and it happens uh, that this person is on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Somehow it's a huge compliment and we have to consider that maybe this is our person. It literally makes no sense to me. So ladies and gentlemen, um, again, my message is to travel the world. When you travel, you get a greater understanding of culture. You get a greater understanding of economics. You get a greater understanding of what life is like in some of these places for uh, the people. And I don't advise any man or any woman to enter into that level of a commitment if you've not at least had a basic understanding of the country, the culture, and actually met the person <laughs> and spent time with this person. Like, you know, you can make a better assessment if you've spent time with someone and you can say, hey, uh, hello, uh, incredible. Uh, it's good to have you uh, join. Uh, you can understand better where a person is coming from if you actually take the time to not just get to know them, get to know their country and their culture. And you may come up with a different assessment or you may come up with the same assessment. But to somehow go into situations blind and willing to 
marry someone so they can get their papers and be legal and legit here in America and you're not even getting paid to do it. It just literally makes no sense. And I'm critiquing. I'm being very honest about it because at one point in time, I thought, well, maybe that might be a great way to help. And it actually took a, a, a brother pulling me outside and was like, no, that doesn't help. And he's getting you for free. So you have to just be very, very honest. Hello, uh, MB Peaceful 12. Um, you know, I'm just being very honest about it because I understand um, as uh, Americans who, and a lot of times, so many of us feel blessed and we want to be able to give back and help other people, especially those people who may come from places that aren't um, as prosperous as what we've seen here in America. I understand that desire. I understand that, um, you know, just fulfillment that you can get from helping someone. But along the way of helping helping or falling in love, don't you get taken advantage of, okay? I'm at the place where with my personal uh, situation involving my friend, I, I understand that there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I, I can only express how I feel about it. Um, ultimately, we're all adults. We all make our own choices and decisions. So I just say be smart about it. Be thoughtful about it. Do not enter into these long-term uh relationship slash connections um and you don't know these people you literally don't know these people and hello uh game ponsa one um and i'm speaking from a female perspective but i want the males to also understand as well that this is uh, applicable to you too because there are a number of uh, women from other countries who want to marry many of you and ain't nobody talking about no money, <laughs> you know, nobody's talking about any money. Um, and you know, it's like, not that I'm advocating for it. Cause if you're just joining, I, I said, I absolutely do not advocate for this, but I realize that this is something that's happening, uh, more often where people are, um, looking to marry an American uh, for the sake of getting their papers here in, in the country. Um, as I stated earlier, this is an act that has a monetary value of anywhere from 20000 to to $50,000. Like it's a, 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 a nice bag that, that can be gained if someone does decide to take that step and I don't advocate for it at all. Um, I think you really need to uh, do your research, uh, do your due diligence, um, at least visit the country before you start uh, making these types of decisions. So I hope that that sheds some light uh, on things. I'm sure a lot of you have met or experienced people uh, who are in similar situations wanting to marry someone uh, who's not in the country to help that person get uh, American citizenship. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you really need to rethink that strategy. You really need to think twice about it because you are on the hook for just for a lot more than just marriage and getting them over here. OK, it's a lot more stuff that you then take on the responsibility for because this person is going to come to the states that nine times out of 10, they're not going to have an, a job, you know, their, their skills may not be transferable. Their education may be limited in terms of, uh, how often it is transferable. Uh, hello, uh, Samba ZA podcast. Hello. Um, so just know that on the surface, it may look like a marriage of convenience or a marriage of, uh, of, of, with the with the intent of helping someone when the actual reality is is that you are now responsible for that person uh when they get over here and it's a lot that comes with being responsible for an adult 
um, and playing things out in your mind of, oh, it's going to go like this when you don't even know the person, you don't know what's customary, you don't know their culture, you don't know their background. Like, it's just don't set yourself up for that, um, men and women. So that's my message for today, everyone. Uh, I hope uh, that serves you. Uh, again, um, share this with your friends or anyone uh, who you think would could benefit from this message, um, because I'm telling you, it shocks me how many sisters, how many brothers are sending money overseas, helping support people and families uh, because they're in love and they ain't never experienced love like this before. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, Samba, uh, you know, if you'd like to tune in for the, uh, the replay, it'll be posted on, on, uh, in the grid. Uh, yes. Uh, well, good. I'm glad you find the topic interesting. It's something that's actually very common. Um, and I, and I don't know if this is because the pandemic, uh, happened and people are still struggling to get on their feet, but I'm just hearing these stories of more people trying to marry American citizens to get over here uh, in the United States um, for the sake of, you know, just coming out of the situation that they're in. And I just feel like you have to do your research. And when you start looking in some of these countries, some of these people don't even have, uh, you know, real backgrounds you can even research. Like there's literally no paperwork in some of these these places. And so um, let's be thoughtful. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and let's make it a point to let situations like this fuel your desire and encourage. And to me, I feel like it should be encouragement to get out there and travel. Um, Samba ZA podcast says my experience has been happening for a long time. You're right. It has been happening for uh, quite a long time. Uh, and people have been doing it for a while. I'm just saying in terms of um, the amount that I'm seeing it now. Hello, K, uh, K Farm 1979. Uh, it's increased and I'm only speaking from my personal view. And I don't know if it's because it shows like 90 Day Fiance or, you know, these kind of, um, uh, you know, um, just some of the circles that I, uh, you know, spend time in because I do travel so much. I meet a lot of different, um, people from other parts of the world. Um, and so I'm hearing it more and, and this is sort of like me reacting and re responding, uh, to the topic and not to mention that it's, uh, directly impacting a really, uh, close long time friend, of mine. And I just also heard someone else talking about it yesterday. So, uh, that's, that's kind of amped me up a little bit, like mm -mm, something needs to be said about this. And so, uh, I hope, uh, you, you guys are doing well. Uh, like I said, if you want to join our trip, uh, to Rio de Janeiro for carnival in February, definitely send us a DM or email. Uh, we also have a trip going to Spain uh, this time next year. Uh, the deadline for that trip is closing soon and shortly. We do have a private Facebook group for that uh, particular uh, trip with more details uh, about the trip. And so uh, that's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Value yourself. <laughs> the world has a value on you. Uh, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and watch the playback. If you missed it, watch the playback. It will be, uh, available on, uh, uh this is also going to be posted on our YouTube channel, Black Travelers Network YouTube channel. Um, yes, uh, Samba, uh, ZA podcast. Just let me know. I'm definitely down, uh, to have a, a greater conversation more in depth about the topic. So yeah, just hit me up and let me know. Um, but it will be placed on the YouTube channel. Uh, and, uh, I will also, uh, make, uh, make sure it's available also here, uh, on the grid, uh, on IG, uh, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, uh, and we will talk soon.